Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back <clears throat> to another reaction. Now, today we're taking a break from the metal. And uh, we're going to go... We are delving into the realm of the unknown, the paranormal. As you can see, I have the lights off. It's spooky. So, get your drinks, turn the lights off, and chill out because you know what it's ghost time Let's turn that on this is top five scary ghost videos to trigger your anxiety I don't know why they uh, titled it that way but they did so here we go three two one top five ghosts call on camera scary things in creepy basements YouTube user Listen, we're, we're not even gonna get started in creepy basements because I made a fucking creepy basement. These are Advil. Speaking of, what the hell? Oh, okay. okay. Claims that while he was upstairs, he could hear strange noises and even voices coming from his basement. He goes to check it out, and it did not go well. And as you can tell, it is a very long video, so. Hello? I'm gonna turn on the light, all right? It's a cute painting, or picture, whatever. Hello? Ooh, that is definitely a creepy basement. Hello? No. Okay. I heard something. Okay. Nothing. I have a feeling they're gonna jump. Is anyone scare there? Me. I had the volume like all the way up too, so if it does, uh, I sometimes jump at these on these, so and you're gonna probably see me jump a lot like that. That was just a demonstration. Okay, back to the video. Whoa, Jesus! Like that. A large display case seems to move on its own. Like that, and that's Apple what I'm talking about. Just gets out of there. But two nights later, again he hears the strange voices coming from the basement. I heard some noises again. Hello? Boy, I'd fucking boo. Did you see it? Oh hell no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's the audio, man. The audio fucking jumps me, but I've seen that. Bruh. And slowed down, you can see a dark figure walking across the doorway at the bottom of the stair. Nope. I'd... Nope. <laughs> That's what I'd do. I'd get the fuck out of there. For about a day, and then I'd go back and I'd investigate it more. YouTuber Advil says that at the time of this recording, he was renting the house. He recently moved to a new home and says that he has not had any more paranormal experiences. Hmm. Swedish YouTuber Patrick Janssen claims that when he went down to his apartment's poorly lit basement, he decided to test his new video camera in the dark surrounding. So this must be like one section of video, but like multiple. Okay. And that's when he saw something truly disturbing. I wanted to turn this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See that? That little That's this shadow. That's nothing there. Let's see. You can never tell if those are a hundred percent legit or not. I mean, they sure look like it, don't they? And that's like the holy grail of paranormal evidence, a full body apparition like that. Now, I think it's safe to say that the camera works pretty well in the dark, but what do you think? 
I'm not quite sure what that is. Obviously, it's a shadow of something, and he's seen it. So. School's out. School's out. Korean ghost hunter Tosa Ochi explores everything from creepy temples Sorry. to haunted buildings and abandoned mental hospitals. He broadcasts his investigations live on the website africatv.com. Tosa Ochi also uploads the creepiest highlights from his live stream to his YouTube channel. In this video sent in by one of his fans, the ghost hunter investigates an allegedly haunted elementary school in Chalado, South Korea. The school has been abandoned for nearly 20 years. As Tosa Ochi makes his way through the building's creepy hallways, he begins to hear strange, <coughs> unexplained sounds. I'd always love to go investigate my old high school. Not necessarily an old high school, but oh. it's still active. Still in oh, use to this day. Funny story about schools, actually. Not my current school I was just talking about, but like six years ago, me and some friends actually went into the abandoned... There's an abandoned high school that used to be the old high school that's now half of the building is abandoned. Half of the building is a uh, preschool, which is fucking weird. But we went in there, and there was some crazy shit going on. None of them real experienced it. But they, we had all, like, separated, the four of us. And I was looking down the hallway, and I thought I saw one of my friends. I saw something move like that. And I went down there to look at it, and then they came up behind me. So I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, schools are creepy. Yep. And that's the he appropriate hears the reaction. Loud bang of what sounds like a s Unless you're a seasoned ghost hunter, that is the appropriate reaction. Flaming door and runs for his life from the creepy here. school building. He doesn't want to go back inside. But, but he after does. repeated requests by his live stream viewers, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. That's a big Is that a high school he said? That's a big ass high school. I'm pausing a lot. This is going to be a long ass video if I keep pausing. Oh. Oh. The creepy piano music makes it so much better. More immersive. He is being chased. Tosa Ochi hears the chilling sound of a school desk moving across the floor somewhere in the building. Then the unexplained sound of something falling nearby sends him running for safety once again. But wow. now, Tosa Ochi decides to go back inside and try to provoke the oh, spirit fuck. to show itself. Hey folks, I'm Joe Biden. I'd like to, I'd like to ask you to join my campaign. Really? As I said, uh, time and again. Elf. Boy. 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 What? I didn't see anything. Boya. Sarami chinaga the tan. Krongo. Mosubu. Sitchinaga de Chipagadu. Toto. Hambon Hebuke. I have fucking Hebuke. Toto. Throws on Hong Kong. Now very freaked out, he decides to set up his camera to record the dark school hallway as he it. gathers his nerve outside. What he catches on camera is truly chilling. What the fuck? No. No, 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 no. No! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 this ain't it, Chief. No, this ain't it, Chief. Not one, but two mysterious figures seem to peek out into the dark hallway. Tosa Ochi heads inside once more, again intending to provoke the spirits that haunt the school. It did not 
I'm not gonna pause it, but I'd be done. I'd be like, nope, nope. Rule number one, and that highly active every place, don't fucking provoke it. Bad shit will happen. You're gonna cut a girl's throat? This guy doesn't know. You see that? 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 You see that right here? Or right here? You see that person standing there? That's how you know to get the fuck out of there. It don't want you. See it? Yeah, I saw Someone it. Someone or something seems to be silently walking along the second floor. If it was another person and they heard him yell like that, I'm pretty sure a person would charge after them, being like, get the fuck out of there. Just try to scare him off. That's not a person. <laughs> To see more of Tosa Ochi's investigations, you can head over to his YouTube channel, or you can watch his almost daily live streams on africatv.com. Come hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years. Wait, 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 wait. Don't fucking tell me. Wait, I've seen this video. I just watched this video. I know it's what he's about to do. I know exactly which one he's about to do. Especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. I've been, I've been said to him since this phone, right? The iPhone 4S. That's how long. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He's he not drops wrong. them from extreme heights, he crushes <laughs> them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name this guy just throws away money. And Tegrax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. <laughs> yep. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro... Yep, okay, yep, yep, okay, yep. I, I was making sure, but this I watched this video recently. And I'm glad it's in here because what he catches on audio is creepy as fuck. I am not going to lie to you. Take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50-foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name The Devil's Cauldron. And we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig of what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So Look at the thing. As I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will burn yourself if you try, uh, like, taking a dip in here. But it's super sick. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Now, the first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine, and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. Yeah. But the second time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. Listen to this. Listen to this. What the fuck is that? Stop recording. Tegrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming. Isn't that creepy? Isn't that fucking creepy? 
especially since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So, just what do you think this strange sound from the Devil's Cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear that you one more time. You can watch this full video. Things get a little weird. Listen when to he this again. the footage later, Listen to this he's again. shocked by what he finds. It's almost like there's something there, and it just smacks the phone as it's swimming away or something. Watch it, it's, it's still, and then BAH! Something swims past it, it's, it's flipping, freaking out of control almost. No, down in the comments. Okay. You can watch Back this full video as well as Techrack's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Hider in the hallway. Okay. This next video was shared to Facebook by Jennifer Majors, who works as the manager of the Haunted Eagle's Nest Hotel in Quincy, Illinois. Employees uh -huh. at the hotel claim to have seen unexplained shadows in the hotel's halls and heard bizarre childlike giggling when no one else was around. When supplies began to mysteriously disappear from the housekeeper's cleaning carts, Jennifer checked the CCTV footage for an explanation. But instead, <sighs> she found something down... I got random chills all of a sudden. I don't like that. And fun fact, if you get chills randomly out of nowhere and it's, you don't feel cold, that might be a ghost around you. Right, terrifying. Oh, fucking... Hold on, guys. We're gonna be right back. I do apologize about that, folks. Um, I was uh, being called by the girlfriend. And, yeah, let's uh, continue. So this is the janitor. It's been like 25 minutes. That's how long I've been on the phone, I think. Uh, let's see. It's janitor, something, hallway, had a... You know what? Let's just rewind a little bit. Keeper's cleaning carts. Jennifer checked the CCTV footage oh, that's right, the for an explanation. Hotel. But that's instead, right. she found something downright terrifying. The cart moves, right? Something moves, right? Oh! In the empty hallway, a childlike shadow figure can be seen quickly running from the elevator towards the cart and then mysteriously darting back out of sight. Now, no human can move that fast. Now, this could just be explained away as a CCTV compression error, but that doesn't explain the speed of the movement. Also, it should be noted that there is no light seen coming from inside the elevator. So the elevator doors that this figure seems to run out of are closed. So is this the ghost of a child running around the Eagle's Nest Hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Ah. You decide. I don't think that's a hoax. It could be a TV glitch, but that's not likely. Down below. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that <laughs> this next video was filmed a, You're not wrong. a few years back while they were outside doing stunts on their trampoline. Later, when they watched their video back, this. Did you see it? Watch again. Right there. What the hell? And it disappears. What looks like a little girl with long dark hair wearing a white dress crawls out from under the trampoline at a very unnatural angle. And then vanishes. What makes it even creepier is that some Reddit viewers note that the girl's neck looks like it's bent sideways. Yeah, it is. It Reddit does Reddit look user Spiders Are Disgusting says that to this day, they have no idea who this Cause look, it just mysterious vanishes. disappearing girl is. It's there. But what do you and think? And gone. Thanks for watching. If you see a video that you think should be in the top five, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com and follow me on Twitter at nukestop5. See you next week. All right, so that was Nukes Top 5 with five scary ghost videos to trigger your anxiety. I'm not going to lie. I think the first half was definitely the first three. 
were a little freakier than the last two. However, they were all very, very creepy. That last one is spe was... I'm, I've got no clue. But, anyway. I thought I heard something. Anyway. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more paranormal videos in the future, uh, let me know. Maybe we can make this a thing. Scary Mondays. So they're in there uploaded at night, too, maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm recording this at 2 a.m. on a Monday. And I haven't even gone to bed yet, so. And when this goes up, it should be... I'm going to set it for 9 p.m. So, uh, let me know if you want these to become a normal thing on this channel. And if you do... Well, then I'll be glad to do them, because I love the paranormal. I get freaked out easily, sure, but I love it. I love doing it. I love I love doing paranormal investigations. By the way, it's a shameless plug on my main channel. I did a, uh, a uh, ghost summoning demon ritual game like six months ago with my friend Coda. You should go check it out. Links down below. Uh, but, yeah, I love doing paranormal investigations. I love watching anything to do with ghosts, so it's all fun to me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, after this video, we'll be going back to metal for a few days probably. And then hopefully doing the group attempt very soon. Probably next vid if, I, if Silski gets me his footage. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Ree!